Hey guys, so if you're looking for books to read in New Year, I have five amazing books for you to read. And I will start with one of the most difficult books that I've read this year and still one of the most inspiring books. And it's called Think on These Things by Krishnamurti. Krishnamurti is one of the saints of last generation, like last century by, and it's Dalai Lama calls him that. This is a hard book to read because this challenges our thought process and all the stories that we have learned from our society. It basically questions us about so many different things that we have gathered. And, and as the title says, think on these things. These are like the ways to think in a different way. I have read a lot of Krishnamurti this past year and this is the perfect way to get into the series of books that Krishnamurti has left behind in his legacy. The second book is uh, a book that I've recommended in my last video as well. It's called Atomic Habits by James Clare. This is one of the most amazing books because it helps you to understand habits and start making habits in your life, implementing these habits and implementing these into systems and everything which makes life easier because our life is built of habits, good and bad, and it helps you understand that. And this is one of the best books to read or to reread. And if you like this book, there is also a program that James Clear is running because I am subscribed to his newsletter and I saw this. So I'm gonna add his link to the program in the description box below and it's free to join. So feel free to join. The third book I want to tell you is about a money book. And I have two books in this. So, and it's in the same way. One is for mostly people who have a good relationship with money, but they are looking for investing. And the other book is mostly for people who don't have a great relationship with money and they're trying to heal their relationship. For the, so the, for investing, it's Psychology of Money. So the Psychology of Money by Morgan Housel is, is an amazing book. Basically, I have learned so much from this because if you, think about investing and like I've gone through this phase a lot in the past few years, we try to maximize our benefits and profits from investing. And in a lot of times we lose a lot of money and sometimes we lose money, sometimes we make money as well, but we lose a lot of peace of mind. This book talks about how to keep your peace of mind, which is the most important thing and still seek returns. And also, thinking about money, spending habits, so many things that this book goes through. But something I learned was about how to have that peace of mind while investing. So the alternative book for psychology of money is The Art of Money by Barry Tesler. This is an amazing book for basically women and for people who have a little bit trauma with money. My girlfriend reads this book and she loves this and this goes through a lot of exercises and the belief systems, the embodiment, and a lot of things. And really recommend this book if you feel like you have a, a not a great relationship with money. The fourth book I'm recommending is The Surrender Experiment by Michael J. Singer. If you don't know Michael J. Singer, he has written other books like The Untethered Sold and Living Untethered. And those are really amazing spiritual books. And this is, basically his story, how he became the person he is and how letting go and letting life flow through him made him this amazing person who has, who runs a community of 120 acres and a lot of people living in there and runs a more than a billion dollar software company and how it went, how it all came in his life. So this is an amazing book and I literally couldn't stop reading this book when I started it. One of my friends recommended me this book and he was sharing about this book and I thought like, I thought like, let's read this book. And I started and finished it in two and a half days. And I was like, just reading this book. This is a really amazing book, which I really recommend you guys to read in 2023. Last but not least, the fifth book I want to recommend is Ikigai by Hector Garcia and Francis Morales. And this is, a really amazing book for longevity and health and a lot of different things like it talks about how people in Japan in Okinawa province live more than 100 years old 
they have done experiments and like recorded their living styles and it talks about that one of the most important things that i learned from this book and i practice every day now is to stop eating when i feel i'm 80 percent full and that really helps me to like feel better and there are a lot of benefits of reading this book i would say but it is like this book is full of wisdom if you really are into longevity health and like finding purpose or there are like so many good things in this book and it's very easy read so these were the five books to read in 2023 if you have read all these books if you want more suggestions you can comment down below or if you are very excited to read any of the books please comment down below why you feel excited and until next video